ओम सदाशिव समारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरु परंपरा श्रुतिस्तुति पुराण आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनःपुनःश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम सहनावतु सहन घुन सह वीर कर्वाहे तेजस्वी नवधी तमस्तमा वहे ये ओं शाति शाशा धातु ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यात मुच्यते प्रकृति कृसुबंताब्रह्मात्मने नम नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडम्यक्त संभव अंडस्यांतस्तुने लोका सप्तद्वीपा चिन्ह So, uh, looking at uh, shloka 31, the sixth chapter, we saw that. So, yeh ekatum astitha sarva bhuta astitam maam bhajati sah yogi sarvata vartamana api mai vartate. And in conjunction with the earlier shloka, we have seen earlier shlokas. It's a mahavakya. So, uh, earlier two shlokas, we have seen that it's a mahavakya. Aikya is being taught here. एंड यह एकत्व एकत्व आल्सो इंडिकेट्स दैट आस्तित सर्वभूत माम भजति हुशिप्स मी एज एन ऑल परवेजिव तत्व सह योगी सर्वथा वर्तमान अभी मई वर्तते सो वेर एवर ही इज हाउ एवर ही इज ही इज स्टील मर्ज इन मी दैट्स नॉट भगवान इज एंड मर्ज इज इन सेंस देर इज नॉट डिफरेंस बिटवीन दी टू दैट योगी आफ्टर ज्ञानोत्पत्ति ऑफ ऐक्य हू कैन रिमेन देर इन निधिध्यासना एंड हैव निष्ठा That yogi is in Bhagwan. Kinch anyat further, atmo pamye na sarvatra samam pashyati yorjuna sukham vayadi vadukham sayogi paramo mataha. Atmo pamye na sarvatra samam pashyati yaha he arjuna yaha samam pashyati. We have seen earlier the definition of yoga is samattom yoga. समत्वम योग उच्यते भगवान हट सेड अर्लियर हे डिफाइंड योग एज समत्व एंड यह समम पश्यती हियर हाउ डज वन कम टू टर्म्स विथ दिस समत्व भाव हाउ डज वन गेट देर सो थ्रू आत्म उपमा आत्म उपम आत्म उपम्येन सर्वत्र एवरीवेर सर्वत्र यह समम पश्यती हू सीज Samatva. How how does he land that in samatva bhava is through oneself as an upama. Upama is an illustration or an example. He uses himself as an example. He puts himself in those scenarios in other shoes and sees before treating them or before interacting with them. He sees that if I were in that person's shoes, how would I like to be treated? The way I i enjoy sukha the other person also enjoys sukha the way i do not want dukha and i want to avoid dukha similarly the other also wants to avoid sorrow so with this thinking with basic thinking seeing everywhere seeing himself as an example there the way i would like to be dealt with similarly i should treat others and thereby atma bhava is there samatva bhava is there so atma upamya na sarvatva so atma upama See generally when you have this uh, uh, here tasya bhava tasya bhava has been used here yah pratyay is there uh, so uh, shen shen pratyay is there so shen pratyay the content is here and it causes vruddhi so upama the word upama has taken vruddhi and has become au au pamye na tadhita there is an adi vruddhi there niche and it's a niche pratyay that has caused the vruddhi. now wherever you have a to tal or uh, shan pratya generally you see sashti sambandha as atmanah aupamyam that's why when this was solved earlier in the exercises i said sashti is okay to start with but here the person himself is a upama so atma meaning reflexive i am the upama there atma paramatma can also be taken but here Atma is in oneself. It is a reflexive pronoun here. Reflexive Atma is reflexive here. 
and i take myself as an example therefore it's a karma dharya and then you add, you add this and prakriya ek for se nahi hai mam baad mein dekhenge ओके सो 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 आत्मा उपमी है ना इज आत्मा इज उपमा आत्मा इज उपमा तुल्य एंड देन तस्य भावा आत्म आत्मा उपमी है ना इज भाव ऑफ आत्मा उपमा एज अ समासा एज कर्मधारिया so taking himself as an example with that bhava he sees others sarvatra samam pashyati yah arjuna and not only with regards to everyone else later with regard to everything else also therefore sarvatra and what i said here sukham va yadi va dukham so va here is in the meaning of cha so sukham cha yadi dukham cha sahayogi paramah matah so sarvatra in what scenarios whether it is sukha or dukha in those scenarios he takes himself as an example and taking these pair of opposites it is upalakshana you can extend it to everything all pairs of opposites and see how others feel about it you you should know by knowing that how you feel about it thereby he can have samatma bhava आत्मोपम्य सर्वत्र समम यह पश्यति सॉरी व्हाट रीबूट सो बरा इज ऑफ टाइपिंग इज लिटिल स्लो हियर सर्वत्र समम समम पश्यति हे अर्जुन संबोधन दे देन सुखम सुखम वा यदि दुखम यदि वा दुखम सहयोगी परम मत एंड देयर बाय ही इज कंसीडर्ड एज अ परम योगी परम योगी सर्वत्र यह और यह सर हे अर्जुन हे अर्जुन यह सर्वत्र और सर्वत्र यह आत्मोपम्यन सुखम व यदि वा दुखम समम पश्यति स योगी परम मत सो दिस इज अन्वया हियर देन एक यथोक्त सम्यक दर्शन लक्षण से योग से This yoga is what samatva, samatva yoga. So samyak darshan, lakshana yoga. This yoga which is characterized by the right vision, that is samyak darshan, lakshana yoga. Ya thok to stand the way it has been taught across chapters. It has been taught, and now he, in this chapter also he is saying this yoga which is samatva lakshana yoga. In the chapter on dhyana yoga, he is saying that ya thok to. सम्यक दर्शन लक्षण योग वन विच आर स्टॉर्ड इन दैकेंड चैप्टर ऑनवर्ड्स दुख संपाद्यता आलक्ष्य योग से दुखेन संपद्यता आलक्ष्य दुख संपद्यता फेमिनीन द प्रातिपदिक इज दुख संपद्यता स्टेटस ऑफ इट्स बीइंग एटेनेबल थ्रू अ लॉट ऑफ डिफिकल्टी Arjuna knows this. Now he knows that samatva yoga, which is being taught, is not easy. He cannot have samatva bhava. He is under the influence of shoka moha, and even if you are not under the influence of shoka moha, still samatva bhava is very difficult. There is ahankara, there is mamakara. This is mine. That is yours. So there is raga dvesha is there. Generally, it is there. Therefore, samatva bhava is very difficult to attain. and the culmination of that samatva bhava is seeing parmatma everywhere atma everywhere parmatma everywhere which means that moksha is the culmination of that aikya is the culmination which is very difficult so yathoktasya samyak darshan lakshanasya yogasya 
dukkh sampadyatam alakshya having considered that having found that it is difficult to attain then सुश्रुषु ध्रुव तत्प्राप्त्युपाय अर्जुन उवाच सो अर्जुन अर्जुन योग से योग से दुख संपद्यता आलक्ष्य तत्प्राप्ति उपाय सुश्रुषु सुश्रुषु इज लाइक मुमुक्षु सन प्रत्यांत शब्द कर्तरी कर्तरी प्रत्येड आफ्टर दैट तो सनंत धातु श्रोतुम इच्छु one who is desirous of hearing desirous of listening to listening to what listening to upaya tat prapti upayam so who is desirous of uh, at a um, so difficult to see where it is so here so tat prapti upayam tat prapti upayam susrushu desirous of listening to the means of attainment of that yoga that is yoga there that yoga prapti upayam susrushu and how how should the the prapti how should the prapti be or and the upaya for that prapti should be dhruva it should be very firm it should be definite so he wants to know how can i definitely attain that uh, yoga which is difficult to attain there by arjuna uvacha uvacha here he questioned he asked uh, bhagwan as to how can he attain that so oh, i have copied this okay so prapti upayam he asked what is that arjuna uvacha योयम योगस्तया प्रोक्ता साम्येन मधुसूदन एतस्याहन्न पश्यामी चंचलत्वा स्थितिं स्थिराम सुस्थिराम स्थितिं न पश्यामी अहम् न पश्यामी I do not see the स्थिरस्थिति of this yoga why he says because चंचलम ही चंचलत्वा हे मधुसूदन यह अयम this yoga ayam ya yoga tvaya proktah this yoga which has been taught by you prakarshena ukta taught by you samyena and what is that with samatva that yoga is samyena yah yoga tvaya proktah he madhusudana etasya yogasya of this yoga aham chanchalatvat sthitim sthiram sthitim na pashyam i don't see how this yoga can remain stable i don't see it why chanchalatva because this yoga is completely dependent on my mind through which i will have samatva bhava my mind is very chanchala therefore i don't see this this is what he is complaining before and and he wants to know whether it is really possible and if so how i want to know there therefore he is saying yaha yaha अयम योगः त्वया प्रोक्तः त्वया प्रोक्तः साम्येन हे मधुसूदन एतस्य अहम् चंचलत्वात् स्थिराम स्थितिं न पश्यामि सो यह अयम यह योग अयम यह योगः त्वया साम्येन प्रोक्तः हे मधुसूदन मधुसूदन अयम ये योग त्वया साम्येन प्रोक्त एक योग से अहम चंचल अहम चंचल स्थिरा स्थिति न पशा ई डोंट सी अ स्टेबल स्टेट ऑफ दिस दिस योग एंड फर्दर इसे प्रसिद्ध मे तत् वाई सो he justifies by stating further what is that the reason he gives is he says chanchalam hi manak krishna prasiddham it is well known chanchalam hi manak krishna pramati balavad dridam tasyaham nigraham manye vayoriva sudushkaram he says chanchalam chanchalam hi manah 
तीसरे चंचलम ही मना हे कृष्ण चंचलम माइंड मन इज न्यूटर सो हे कृष्ण ही सेज वॉट इज दिस मन चंचलम मन ही ही यस्मात यू कैन से और डेफिनेटली माइंड इज चंचला एंड प्रमाथी प्रमाथी इज वॉट मत धातु इज देर मत वी नो दी विथ लुट भावे विपत्ति वी नो दी वर्ड मथन मथन वॉट इज मथनम the the way there was this uh, samudra manthana also you know manthana so matnati it stars it it's turbulent so prakarshena matnati iti pramati manaha prakarshena matnati it, it creates turbulence it stirs the mind it completely stirs the mind and then it makes it very turbulent so rather it uh, mind is is that which uh, confuses you not the mind it the mind is the karta there mind completely takes control of the person and then drags him outward towards the sense or through the sense organs towards the vishaya therefore pramathi it creates doubts it creates confusion it creates ragadvesha it, it brings forth forth all vasanas it manifests them and drags you outward drags the person individual the jeeva who has connection with the tadatma sambandha with the mind he it makes him forget everything it does not let the intellect work and hijacks him into vishayas binds him therefore pramathi he krishna manaha chanchalam manahi chanchalam pramathi and what balavat balavat it is also balavat balavan in neutral it will be balavat drudham so it is balavat and has lot of strength buddhi cannot have a say at times and drudham it is very firm tasya manasah aham nigraham vayoriva dushkaram manye what does he say sudushkaram not only dushkaram it is sudushkaram sushtu dushkaram it is very difficult it is extremely difficult what is very difficult nigraha control of that mind tasya manasah nigraham aham vayoriva dushkaram manye like example he gives like vayu you cannot control vayu how can you hold the vayu in a particular place it will it can turn very turbulent and become a storm so i consider it to be very difficult extremely difficult to control this mind so so manaha manaha hi he krishna manaha hi chanchalam chanchalam what else balavat drudham bhavati and tasya manasaha अहम तस्य निग्रहम अहम वायोर इव इव सुदुष्करम मन्ये तस्य तस्य अहम निग्रहम I consider this निग्रहम as very difficult How vayu ho yu like that of vayu nigraham vayu ho nigraham yu dushkaram manye very difficult. Sri Bhagwan hua cha. What is the evam etat yatha bravi si evam? What you say is exactly so. It is exactly so. <coughs> yatha bravi si as you say. श्री भगवान उवाच से असंशय महाबाहो मनो दुर्निग्रह चल अभ्यास नौंतेय वैराग्येण चृह्यते असंशय वॉट यू से असंशय इट इज लाइक दैट असंशय
असंशय महाबाहो हे महाबाहो मन दुर्निग्रह चलम असंशय असंशय इट इज असंशय इट इज अंडाउटेडली सो दैट माइंड इज चला चला हियर हियर से चन चला अर्जुन से चन चला एंड भगवान से चला दैट विच इज विच इज मूविंग Continuously moving, it does not rest even for a moment. It is continuously moving, and therefore, durnigraha. It is it is very difficult to control. So he had said, "Nigraham sudushkaram manye." What Bhagwan does? He takes his du, dur, dushar, dur here, and he takes it and adds nigraham. And with one word, he agrees with him. He says, "Nigraham sudushkaram." He says durnigraham, same meaning. So manaha durnigraham and chanchalam, chalam and chanchalam, same meaning. So he says yatha bravishi tatha eva bhavati. Even the way you say it, it is exactly so. Manaha durnigraham, chalam. Uh, it is asaushayam. It is undoubtedly so. But what? Don't lose heart. He kaunte ya abhyase na tu on. But so to but abhyase na kaunte kaun he kaunte abhyase na vairagya na cha griyate manaha griyate mind can be grasped and kept under control by abhyasa abhyasa is repetition whatever has been taught it has to be practiced so through practice again and again practice cannot be you cannot have a practice session once I have practice and it is done no it has to be done repeatedly till It becomes stira that chanchalatam can be controlled. Vairag gain a chagriye the, and not only through that you don't indulge, you don't let the mind have its say. How by abhyasa, by practicing whatever has been taught, you have to practice it continuously. And vairagya meaning withdraw from the the mind should not be let to engage. So the more you uh, Have vairagya towards the vishayas, the less will mind have its say. It will become weaker and weaker. Once the mind starts taking you away from atma tattva to the vishayas, it will keep on dragging you further again and again. But the more you control it, the more you have vairagya, the less it will have say further. Therefore, asamshayam mahavao. हे महाबाहो अंडाउटेडिटी सो हे महाबाहो मन दुर्निग्रह चलम बट अभ्यास तू हे कौंतेय एंड वैराग्य गृह्यते इट कैन बी ग्रास्ट एंड केप्ट अंडर कंट्रोल सो हे महाबाहो मन असंशय दुर्निग्रह चलम चवती कैन बी एडेड देयर मन असंशय दुर्निग्रह चलम चवती एंड दुर्निग्रह असंशय कैन बी इट कैन बी एडवर्बियल दुर्निग्रह अभ्यास तू हे कौंतेय सेकेंड सेंटेन्स हे कौंतेय अभ्यास तू वैराग्य गृह्यते वॉट इज दैट मन मन गृह्यते यसंयतात्मा युनः असंयतात्मा संयता आत्मा इज आत्मा अंत आत्मा इज अंतकरण अंतकरण इज संयता इज Under control, that person who has such an antakarana, sanyata, sanyata, atma, antakaranam yasya sa sanyata atma. 
एंड न संयत आत्मा असंयत आत्मा नंज तत्पुरुष फर्स्ट बहुरी ही एंड देन नंज तत्पुरुष और यू कैन मेक अ सिंगल बहुरी बाय सेइंग दैट संयत आत्मा नास्ति अस्य और अविद्यमान संयत आत्मा यस्य अंतकरण यस्य सह असंयत आत्मा सो वन हु ऑन द अदर हैंड यह पुनः पुनः ऑन द अदर हैंड वन हु इज नॉट द वे द अरियर श्लोका सेज हियर अभ्यास एंड वैराग्य वन हु डज नॉट हैव अभ्यास एंड वैराग्य देयर बाय असंयत आत्मा असंयत आत्मा इज वन हु हैज नॉट प्रैक्टिस दिस पर्टिकुलर योगा एंड हैज नो वैराग्य therefore punah as in on the other hand yah punah asayat atma ten ten what ten asayat atmana by that person so ten he converts this into tritiya and then introduces that word as a part of this shloka here which says asayat atma yogo dushprapaiti me mati hi vashyatmana tu yatata shakyo vaptum upayata he says this shloka here sorry says what asanyat atmana asanyat atmana yogah dushprapah dushprap again dur pratyay has been added this repha becomes shaya dus so dushprap and then it takes murdhanya adesh dushprapah yogah dushpra dukhena prapah attainable through lot of difficulty what is that yoga yoga is attainable through lot of difficulty by whom asanyat atma by a person who does not have control over his mind and what arjuna is complaining he say yes what you are complaining is right manah chanchalam therefore through mind you have to attain yoga samat bhava is possible only when you train the mind dhyana is possible only when you can do dharana dharana is possible only when you have pratyahara pratyahara is going to create the bahiranga sadhana into antaranga sadhana not uh, convert but it is going to shift the person pick the person from the bahiranga sadhana to the antaranga anga antarangas in the ashtanga yoga so pratyahara will be possible only when यम नियम आर्दे अदरवाइज वन मे डू वन मे प्रैक्टिस योगा इज योगासन आसन प्राणायाम इज पॉसिबल बट प्रत्याहार विल नॉट बी पॉसिबल बाय अ पर्सन हु डज नॉट हैव यम नियम व्हेन यम नियम आर देयर देन द पर्सन विल बिकम संयत आत्मा अदरवाइज अ पर्सन हु रिमेंस एज असंयत आत्मा तेन असंयत आत्मना that person so that person for that person yoga is difficult so through him uh, sorry by that person yoga is dushprapa it is not attainable by this person iti me matihi krishna is saying this is this is my thinking this is my view and what is bhagwan's view bhagwan's view is teaching it is not his opinion it is a teaching he is telling you fact as it is it is yathartha jnana so me matihi is not just a view it is the the fact as it stands that yoga is impossible dushprapa is actually impossible and what is this yoga samatva bhava dharana dhyana samadhi and finally culminating in in aikya that is difficult vashyatmana tu vashyatmana instead of sanyata he used vashya word here same meaning sanyata vashya vashya he there is he has it under control he He influences the mind. The person influences the mind. So, vashyat mana tu yatata, yatata by a person who is vashyat mana yatata, who is doing prayatna. The person who is doing prayatna, then what is that prayatna? Abhyasa, what has been mentioned. And vashyat mana is who? Vashyat ma is who? This person who has vairagya. Therefore, yatata. shows abhyasa and yatata is yatata yatata is yatat so yatata vashyatmana tu yatata shakya and vashyatma shows uh, vairagya 
अभ्यास कौंतेय वैराग्येण चीयते देर बाय वश्यात्मना तो यतता उपायतः आप्तुम अवाप्तुम उपायतः अवाप्तुम शक्यः योगः शक्यः व्हाट अवाप्तुम उपायतः थ्रू दिस उपायतः दैट देयर इज अ मींस देयर इज अ मींस एंड वश्यात्मना तो यतता अवाप्तुम शक्यः What is that shakya? Avap tum shakya kaha yoga ha? Dushprapa ha api yoga ha? Vashyatmana ha? Praptum shakya. That is the meaning. So if you just use the same words and you say uh, avap tum or praptum, whatever has been used earlier. Here prapa has been used, avap tum has been used. Same meaning. Earlier what was said here uh, there was praptum. So. Uh, So dushprapa, anyway, praptum, avaptum, prapa. These have similar meanings there. Aap dhatu, you can see the aap dhatu with different upasargas. Anyway, the limit has gone uh, for this meeting. At least there is no limit of forty. So <coughs> we can go further. So asany uh, asanyat atmana yoga ha dushprapa iti me mati hi, but vashyat mana tu yatata shakya avaptum upayata iti me mati again. It is a fact, so he is giving a contrast on both sides. Yoga ha dushprapa ha iti me mati hi mama mati hi and vashyat mana tu yatata through effort it is possible. अवाप्तुम उपायतः एंड हियर इट इज लाइक उपायतः इज पंचमी तसिल पंचमी अर्थ तसिल और उपायतः पंचमी और तृतीया क्रॉस चेक व्हाट इज भगवान भाष्यकार असे देयर सुग्रीवियते तु यतता भूयोपि प्रयत्नं कुरुवता सो प्रयत्नं कुरुवता यतता शक्य अवाप्तुम योग उपायता यथोक्ता उपाया सो पंचमी अर्थे तसी सो पंचमी अर्थे तसी ड्यू टू एफर्ट वॉट इज से उपायता यथोक्ता उपाया फ्रॉम और इफ नॉट हेतौ बट पंचमी अर्थे फ्रॉम एफर्ट और ड्यू टू एफर्ट ड्यू टू एफर्ट इज ऑलसो फाइन सो ड्यू टू एफर्ट वश्यात्म तो यतता योग अवाप्त उपाय अवाप्त शक्य एंड वॉट इज दुपाय अभ्यास एंड वैराग्य योग दुष्प्राप इति मे मति नथिंग टू बी डन देर वश्यात् और वी कैन से इति मे मति ही वी कैन वी कैन एड इट एट दी एंड ऑल्सो वश्यात्म दुष्प्राप वश्यात्म दुष्प्राप और वी कैन जस्ट मेक सिंगल सेंटेंस वश्यात्मन तो यथा उपायतः योग अवाप्त शक्य मे मति ही सो वी कैन पुट इट टुगेदर एंड देन एड इति मे मति बिकॉज ही हेज गिवन अ कॉन्ट्रास्ट एंड एक्सप्रेस दैट दिस इज अ फैक्ट त्र योगाभ्यासांगीकरणेन गिव मी अ मोमेंट आई एम अनेबल टू सी द क्लॉक एट ऑल ओके आई रीड दी सो तत्र योगाभ्यास अंगीकरण इह लोक परलोक प्राप्ति निमित्ता कर्माणी संन्यस्ता बाय दिस वॉट अंगीकार अंगीकरण इज अंगीकार थ्रू अंगीकार थ्रू एक्सेप्ट एक्सेप्ट ऑफ वॉट एक्सेप्टिंग योगाभ्यास बाय टेकिंग अ प्राक्टिस ऑफ योग त्र योगाभ्यास अंगीकरण त्र इन तस्मिन विषय इन दिस in this matter in this subject matter in this context whatever is being taught in this matter or in that matter 
भाष्यकारा फ्रॉमर is dedicated because you see the yogarunasitasya shamak karanam uchyate and thereby he said sanyasa and that is what he says karmani sanyasthani karmas are given up nimittani which are nimitta karmas are nimitta for what eha loka para loka loka prapti karmas are for what reasons karmas see what are vaidika karmas karmas here i have stressed it many times that karma in the context of vedas or in, in the context of shastras or in vedanta also karma's primary meaning unless and otherwise indicated unless it is indicated otherwise it is vaidika karma and vaidika karma is what it is either for some attainment here in this world or in another world after the drop of this body so jiva is already known by the karma kandi to be different from the body mind sense complex that we have seen earlier astika that atma is different from the body mind sense complex and it will survive after the death of the body this atma should have gati further course some further course and that course should be a happy course thereby some punya karma has to be attained now here in this karma bhumi and not only that here and now what else can i do so there is laukika upaya to attain laukika gains but there are paralaukika upayas to attain laukika gains as well so what is said as alaukika upaya not paralaukika alaukika upaya for laukika gains that is what vedas teach here so you do punya or some kamya karma also to get some phala here and now and le- later also so what are these karmas karmas are nimitta for prapti of paraloka and ihaloka ihaloka paraloka prapti nimittani karmani but for a person who has accepted yoga abhyasa who has taken yoga abhyasa what for for moksha for that person these karmas which are means for anything here and hereafter is dropped sanyastani yoga siddhi phalancha moksha sadhanam samyak darshanam na praptam iti what else yoga siddhi phalancha moksha sadhanam samyak darshan na praptam iti yogi yoga margat marana kale chalita chitta iti tasya nasham ashankya arjuna uvach nasham just let me cross check this doesn't look like uh, it is the right word ashankya it should be ashankya or nasham shankya which shloka is that uh, introduction to this आशम आशंके इट इज आशंके ओनली ओके सो सो इट इज आशंके हियर मेबी इट इज इट इज सो नाशम आशंके अर्जुन वाचा सो तत्र योगाभ्यास अंगीकरणेन यह लोक परलोक प्राप्ति निमित्तानि कर्माणि सन्यस्तानि आणि योग सिद्धि फलम च मोक्ष साधनम सम्यक दर्शन न प्राप्तम इति व्हाई आर दीस गिवन अप because yoga siddhi phala he wants to take to yoga for what reason he wants to take to yoga because moksha sadhana moksha sadhana and samyak darshana na praptam samyak darshana is moksha sadhana and yoga siddhi phalam it is yoga siddhi phalam it is not attained i i want the parva purushartha i do not want anything else now i want parva purushartha which i have not attained इति therefore what yogi yoga margat marana kale chalita chalita chitta 
योगी योग मार्गात मरण काले चलित चित्त मरण काले एट द टाइम ऑफ डेथ दिस योगी दिस योगी हु हैज टेकन टू दिस योग एट द टाइम ऑफ डेथ ही इज फॉलोइंग फर्स्ट ही इज टेकन अप योग अभ्यास फॉर दिस रीजन फॉर मोक्ष बट वाइल ही इज गिवन अप कर्माज ऑल्सो नाउ हैविंग गिवन अप कर्माज For moksha phala, practicing this yoga, but not attaining yoga siddhi phala, not having attained this, na praptamiti. Moksha sadhana, samyak darshan, yoga siddhi phala, he has not attained. So what has happened? He has given up karma, which was his kavacha from pratyavaya dosha, and he has not attained the yoga phala even after taking to yoga because it takes time. Nothing is going to happen in a day. So, samyak darshanam na praptam. If the yogi then marana kali, what will happen at the time of death? This yogi yoga marga chalite chitta ha. He has, in in case he drifts from this yoga, which is samatto bhava, and he dies at that point of time of death, he has no moksha. Moksha has been not attained, and that yoga marga chalite chitta ha. The mind, the person's mind has. Shifted from yoga marga, iti tasya nasham ashanke. Thereby, this person will be destroyed. This is the doubt Arjuna has. Arjuna ha vacha ashanke, having doubt, raised a doubt in his mind. He has a doubt that there is nasha tasya kasya tasya yogi na ha nasham. This yogi may have an issue now. He ha has an issue that. he has drifted from the yoga marga and he has drifted from the karma also because drifted and says he given up karma and yoga phala he has not attained and before that he has drifted because yoga cannot be continuous he is still practicing he dropped there is a deviation at times and at the point of death there was a deviation deviation then what will happen to this person iti ashankya nasham ashankya arjuna uvach what did he what did he say He asked, "Ayati shraddha yo peto yoga chalita mana saha aprapya yoga samsiddhim kangati krishna gachati." So this is his doubt now. Arjuna is asking now. This is what happened here. Okay, something else happened. Okay, ayati he. Uh, Shraddhayopeta, I'll format it later. So what has happened? Ayat ayati he. Shraddhayopeta ha. This is a person Kartarikta here, and yogat yogat chalita manasa. Here he has said chalita chitta. Chalita chitta chitta is manasa. Manayo manasam. So chalit chalitam manasam yasse sa chalita manasa. The person whose mind Has moved, moved away from what? From yoga. Has moved, moved away, moved away from yoga. But shraddaya up, shraddaya upeta, shraddaya upay upeta ha. Tritya tat purusha. This person is, however, although his mind has moved away from yoga, still he is endowed with shraddha. He has shraddha. Ayati he, ayati he is one who is not putting effort here. Ayati he. So let's look at what Bhagwan Bhaskara says. Ayati hi, ayati aprayatna van yoga marge shraddhaya asti ke buddhya cha upeta ha. One who is endowed with shraddha, but who is not putting effort in yoga, which is the case with most of us. We have shraddha, but what happens? Effort is lacking. Abhyasa is lacking. Vairagya is lacking. We know that it is attainable through ab abhyasa and vairagya, but we Are unable to do so for whatever reasons. Commitments, priorities are different. Commitments are different. Forgetfulness is there. Something else comes up. Where is the time? We have all sorts of excuses. Therefore, ayati he. But shraddha is there. If you ask, no, no, I have shraddha in Vedas. Why don't you do it? Unable to do it for whatever reasons. But this person is someone who has given up karma. He has given up karma. And ayati hi shraddhaopeta, but ayati hi and karma 
which is nimitta for eha loka paraloka prapti so what will he attain this is the doubt yoga chalita manasah what happens aprapya manasa yoga samsiddhim aprapya yogasya samyak siddhim aprapya shashti tat purusha one who has not attained so not one who has aprapya is yabanta not not having attained yoga samsiddhi is yoga phala which is the culmination of yoga moksha so yogasya samsiddhim aprapya aprapya what kaam gatim gati is trilinga therefore kaam kaam gatim he krishna gachati what is the course that this person attains now what would this person attain now he krishna he krishna what is the doubt this ayati hi basic sentence will make will fill in ayati hi kaam gatim gachati what course does he attain or what because we say you know even after a person dies of we don't say rip we don't say rest in peace there is no rest in peace atma is peaceful always peaceful but jivatma needs gati because we don't believe in this uh, rest in peace as in a person is buried and then goes to heaven or hell uh, hell forever whatever that judgment day we say that the person will continue as per yatha karma yatha shrutam as per his karma as per whatever he has heard whatever remains in his memory at the point of time of death he will take that gati that course dakshina marga uttara marga adogati whatever it is there is a gati and then we what do we pray for the jivatma to take when a person dies we say may he attain better gati a good gati we pray for that so that is the gati kaam gati gachati this ayati hi who is not doing any prayatna has given up karma in yoga he has not succeeded what will he be his course this is the question that arjuna is asking meaning his ubhaya prashta he is going to ask later ubhaya prashta he is neither here nor there there is there is a very uh, i mean very odd or bad adage in hindi the ghar ka na ghat ka either here or there so this is the doubt that arjuna has kaam gati and who is this ayati he you can't doubt his intentions are good shraddhaya not shraddhay shraddhayo pe shraddhaya upeta i said it is a it is not shraddha peta shraddhe shraddhaya upeta so it is not a it is a vyasta pada i didn't see that sorry so not a compound at all shraddhaya upeta ha why i mark this yes, sorry one 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 it is a pratha upeta hai so in my mind that uh, samasa and then tritiya has gone elsewhere so shraddhaya upeta ha vyasta pada one who is endowed this person is endowed with shraddha shraddhaya upeta ha ayati hi but prayatna is lacking thereby what yoga chalita manasah and thereby this becomes a hetu for him to be yoga chalita manasah and yoga chalita manasah chalita manasah is bahuri chalitam manasam yasya mana eva manasam swarthya and pratya will make mana as manas as manas and then chalita manasam yasya sah chalita manasah so manas will be made as manasa by uh, swarthe anpratya ki anpratya swarthe so mana eva manasam thereby chalitam manasam yasya sa chalita manasah that person why yoga chalita manasa because he is ayati hi prayatna he is not doing thereby yoga samsiddhim yoga samsiddhim aprapya this becomes the hetu for him to not attain yoga and yoga samsiddhim aprapya kaam gatim gachati what what course does he attain after the fall of the body doubt is what nasham ashankya so nasham gachati va na va in arjuna's mind 
Tasya yoginaha nasham ashankya. Therefore, kaam gatim gachati means nasha gatim gachati vanava. His doubt is that because if I give up karma, I will be here, neither here nor there. Although Bhagavan will not ask him to give up karma. Still, he has a doubt for the sake of everyone. He, he asked this question for clarification. And kachin no bhai brashtash. We'll break it. So kachin no ubhaya vid brashtaha. Chinna brahmi vanashyati. Apratishto mahabaho vimudo brahmana pati. So kachin no kachit. Kachit na ubhaya vid brashtaha. Chinna abhram iva nashyati. Sorry. So kachit, kachit is whether, whether kachin, Kachitna, so Kachitna has become Kachinna due to Sandhi, Kachinna Ubhaya Vibrashtaha. Ubhaya Vibrashtaha is one who has fallen from both. And then Chinna Abhram Yuva, like a Abhra is what? Abhram is a cloud. Like a cloud which is burst. You know? it's, it does not remain a cloud anymore. So what does Bhagavan Bhashyakara say there? No, it does not give anything else. So just like see, the role of the cloud is to go and shower rains. If it is suddenly burst, what is its gati? What happens? It is not raining anymore. So, chinnabram you were like a, we, we say, uh, you know, there's a cloud burst. So, cloud burst is not really a rain. It's not really the, the way it, the cloud is supposed to behave. It is not normal for the cloud to just burst. Thereby, Ubhayavibrashta, the example for the Ubhayavibrashta, neither here nor there, that cloud is has not neither scattered nor gone elsewhere and rained. And it has not rained here. It has not done its job, so to say. So, as a Manusha, you are born to do either karma and then get better gati and then move towards moksha or attain moksha here and now. This person has attained neither. Thereby, kachit whether no, ubhaya vibrasna chinna abhram viva kachit na nashyati. Na nashyati. So, he asks whether this person will not be destroyed. Meaning, whether he will be destroyed or not be destroyed. So, kachit ubhaya vibrasna nashyati va nava. This is the question there. How? Like a chinna abhrama. Apratishtaha and why his hetu for that is what? Apratishtha. Apratishtha is what? There is no pratishtha in anything. Karma pratishtha is not there. Yoga pratishtha is also not there. Shraddha is there. But if you ask this person to put, a, put it in uh, action, let your action speak, then we see that action is lacking. Prayatna was lacking. He was ayatihi. Thereby apratishtha. Now he has lost the, uh, the kavacha of the karma which protected him and would give him, otherwise would give him a better gati. So, he mahabaho apratishtaha vimudaha and thereby vimudha deluded, deluded from brahmana pati on the path of this brahman, towards brahman he is lost on this path, pati. Pat like patha, path, like path, very similar words, pati, on this path of Brahma, towards Brahma, he is lost, vimudha. He is not attained it. Yoga he is not attained. And karma he is given up, therefore, apratishtaha. Whether he will not be destroyed, so give, give me hope, this is the idea there. He, mahabaho, he, mahabaho, Kachin Ubhay Vrashta Chinna Brahm Iva Na Nashyati. Like question it is. And then who is who is this Ubhay Vrashta? Apratishta Vimuda Brahmana Pati Vimuda. Apratishta Sun. Apratishta Sun. 
हे महाबाहो अप्रतिष्ठ सन ब्रह्मण पति विमूड उभय भ्रष्ट छिन्ना ब्रह्म न नश्यती दैट इज ए क्वेश्चन हियर विल स्टॉप हियर Uh, or rather, we'll finish this. Next is in continuation, so we'll finish what Ar Arjuna is saying. He asks, "Etan me saushayam, etan me saushayam, Krishna che tum arhas yashe sataha tadan yas saushay syaasya cheta nahiu papadhyate." So, what is his question there? Whether or not he'll be destroyed? And then further, he says. एतन में एतत एतत में हैज बिकम एतन में इन संधि एतत में संशय कृष्ण हे कृष्ण एतत में संशय भवती माय मम मम संशय भवती रिलेटेड बीइंग संशय नॉट भवती छेतु मरसि देयरफॉर एतत में संशय मे संशय हे कृष्ण छेतु दिस चकार इज ड्यू टू संधि छेतु यू हैव टू शैटर दिस डाउट छेतु अर्हसी अशेषता अशेषता सो दैट नथिंग रिमेन्स अशेषता एडवर्बियल सेंस अर्हसी यू ऑट टू यू ऑट टू मध्य पुरुष एक वचन छेतुमर्हसी हे कृष्ण हे कृष्ण छेतुम अर्हसी एंड हाउ छेतुम एडवर्बियल टू अशेषत अशेषत छेतुम अर्हसी यू ऑट टू destroy this doubt shatter this doubt samshayam aseshata chetum so samshayam this doubt you ought to remove it completely etat samshayam etat me samshayam this doubt of mine you ought to shatter completely asheshata why त्वन्य प्रत्यन्य त्वन्य अदर देन यू अदर देन यू संशय 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 छेता डिस्ट्रॉयर और शैटर न ही उपपद्यते हु एल्स अदर देन भगवान सो ही से नही उपपद्यते देर इज नो वन एल्स हु कैन डू इट so therefore you should do it arhasi tvadanya tvadanya asya samshayasya chetta or asya samshayasya tvadanya chetta other than you any destroyer or any Remover of this doubt, other than you, does not exist. Nahi upapadhyate is not tenable. Also, that there is someone else. Nahi upapadhyate. That is the reason I ask you, and you ought to remove this doubt. So we we'll stop here. Shanti, shanti, shanti. Any questions? Yeah, I think it has it. It was removed only for this particular uh, moment, perhaps. Yes, Arun. Uh, you can unmute yourself. Just give somewhere. I uh, let me look up. So, yeah, you can unmute yourself and ask. Can you hear me? Oh, uh, yeah. A little. Let me increase the volume. 
Ya. Yeah. So, um, if Chalita Mahanasa, hmm. uh, I mean, even if you take someone who is not a Chalita Mahanasa, he's also in between, right? Because he's a seeker and he has not attained moksha. So, he's in the same state as a person who has given up karma and is. So, the idea is this. Okay, uh, I understand what you're asking. It's a good question. Uh, even if a person is, see, what is he asking? Chalita Manasa, it is, should be read in continuation with what, what he is asked. Uh, see, his doubt is uh, Marana Kali. You know, that's why Bhagwan Bhashyakara had introduced, right? Uh, here. See, Marana Kali Chalita Chittaha. Although this Marana Kala is not there anywhere here. It's very nicely introduced by Bhashyakara in the Bhashya in the introduction. Although Arjuna is asking Yoga Chalita Manasa. So what your doubt is, is that even if he is not Chalita Manasa, he, he is very well committed and he is not Ayati also. That's what you are asking, right? Correct. Correct. He is doing Prayatna, but he has not reached there. Yeah. But see, a person who is doing Prayatna and you are saying not Chalita Manasa, meaning what? Uh, he is not Chalita Manasa means his mind is still, right? On, yeah. He's committed to it. And when he's, he's committed. committed to it in Marana Kala, he'll not have it. As in, he'll not have the mind move away. His mind will be trained enough to stay with yoga. And uh, uh, Bhagwan Krishna says that a person, whatever tendency he, he has at the point of death, that will define the Gati. Uh, it is going to come up. So that's why Bhagavan Bhashyakara adds this Marana Kali. A person who is, who is doing, taking effort and when a person takes a effort, then Abhyasa and Vairagya is becoming Dhridha and Dhridha. Maybe he has not attained the complete goal. Maybe he has not attained Samadhi is fine. But then his mind will be on the Tattva. When his mind is on the Tattva, at the point of death, it is on the Tattva. Then he'll get a good gati. Then Arjuna cannot have a doubt because he's given up karma. But at the moment of death, it is well known. In Shastra, it is well known. Maybe Arjuna also knew this. That at the point of death, that there may be, uh, whether or not he knew it. But one Bhashyakara puts it, assuming, let's give him a doubt, uh, benefit of doubt that he knew it. Even if he did not know, let's say that Bhagavan Bhashyakara introduces it to show that we should at least get it. That at the point of death, whatever your mind thinks of, that will define your Gati. And what will your mind think of? Whatever Vasana has become stronger, that is where the mind will be because you won't be able to control the mind. A person who dies, either dies spontaneously like in a case of an accident. Very unfortunate. Accident, suicides, all those will, uh, or someone shoots or what kills, we'll leave that aside. But generally, the death is slow, as in a disease, bedridden, on the you know, aged when the mind is not functioning well, or weakened, and thereby we say that on the deathbed, when the mind has no uh, control of the uh, there is no Indriya control, there is no Karmendriya control, there is no say over the mind also. Buddhi is not. That's why we say in Chandogya 6th chapter, there is very, uh, very nice or very uh, scary also presentation of this person who is dying. What ha exactly happens when the person is dying? There, the, the person cannot recognize the other. You know, you say that he is recognized, you know, my grandfather recognized me, whatever we say this, you know, that he is, he was very sharp. Why? Because sharpness is not expected at that point of time. As a person grows old, it is like Balya Avastha, the Buddhi becomes weak. So mind has no say. Uh, sorry, Buddhi does not have control over the mind. And mind will run into whatever has been impressed upon it a lot. So if it has been impressed a lot, whatever vasanas are there, they'll, they'll come to mind at the point of death and they will define the further Gati because they are based on vasanas which will carve out another prarabdha out of the infinite sanchita for the next janma. Now Marana Kale defines that, that Marana Kala defines that, that moment and thereby a person who is not Chalita Chittaha, Achalita Chittaha, 
that person will have a say there because he has been practicing it so much that the mind will remain still on this tattva even if he does not have a say buddhi is not, not uh, going to control it still as long as the buddhi was functional he has done only this activity although he has not got the phala what happens at the point of death also he will think of the same tattva and that tattva will guide him to a good gati his doubt is about nasham asham so arjuna cannot doubt that at the point of time of death even if he doubts we cannot doubt it so no one should doubt it that at the point of death if the person has has the tattva in the mind there will be a good gati or not nasha will not be there but his doubt is a person who has uh, has not practiced that's our ayati okay is that clear yeah anything else no anyone else so we'll stop here and uh...